Hey everybody, John Foss. I'm talking with Emma Greenwell and Olivia Munn about their new show, The Rook, which airs seven o'clock on Sunday nights on Stars. Thank you guys so much for being here. And let me say, first of all, you guys did it right because some of the locations in this show are amazing. Tell us all about the experience of working in London. Well, I'm actually from London, so for me it was amazing. I've never bizarrely shot there, and to have such incredible landmarks like as part of our story was, I mean, it was great. I was like a kid. I was running around and very, very excited, taking a lot of pictures like a tourist. Yeah, I was, you know, it, it's such a, a an important part of our show that we are in London, and it's not something you can recreate on a studio or soundstage anywhere. I mean, the the city is just so alive and all of these like we should talk about those big landmarks you know my first my first scene where I'm, my character is introduced is it at St. Pancras station which is a very famous very iconic station and it's just something that really helps I think add to just the energy it's of like the a show. character yeah it it's is. a char London's a character in itself in in the rook and it's incredibly important to the story and I think I don't know if it could be set anywhere else. No. <laughs> Absolutely. No. So for people here in the Twin Cities who maybe haven't heard of The Rook, tell us what the show is all about. Emma's really great at that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I think it's, like, it's a psychological spy thriller with a soft supernatural undertone that really elevates the story and, you know, and the characters and and yeah that's it's that's a really it's a it's a show that what, the thing i loved about it when i was reading the script was that you know i love old school British spy shows, and actually all the new school ones you do. You think we do really well. Though. You guys do yeah. do spy very, very well. And there was this, like Emma said, the supernatural edge to it. Um, but I, what I thought was actually really cool was that it's not superhero abilities like we know in pop culture, and it's not supernatural per se. Um, I like to call them superhuman abilities because all of the powers that we all have in the show are grounded within what we as human beings already have. So my character has extreme strength and um, and so there's somebody that can like hear a whisper in a crowd of thousands or see for miles. And we've got this, this group of spies within this, these government agencies. And, um, and it's this really interesting like, puzzle that we have to put together. And Emma, in the show, your character has memory loss. Did the creators of the show show you the entire script of the show? Or did they think it would be better for your character to actually not know what was going to be happening in the future? Yeah, no, they, they really tried to keep as much away from me as possible. Like, I, I was told to not read the book. I only had two episodes to go on, um, which initially I was quite nervous about, but then it became very freeing. It was like I didn't really have much work to do <laughs> because I wasn't, you know, no, it was no just, prep, it, no prep because I just, well, I did a little bit of prep, but like I just got, it was really about playing, which I think in television is so rare because it's so quick. Um, and I felt very fortunate to have a director that, you know, really gave me that time and that space to sort of, to be, work. Be and, so and, present. Yeah, it was more yeah. like theater in a way, like a rehearsal, it mm. felt like, except it was being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> and Olivia, you were in X-Men, which is obviously a superhero movie. And I'm sure a lot of people that have seen the trailer for The Rook maybe thought that this was a superhero show, and it's not. Can you tell the people at home what is different about this show? The difference is that this this is a kind of could it happen to us situation. I mean, we are. It's a very real life show. We're, you know, in present day. It's just that we have people who have been able to develop their abilities to like the nth degree. So. Um, you know, it's it's real. It's like it's real. Like it's very much grounded yeah. in reality, and, and the sort of the powers that we all have are so subtle, mm -hmm. and you sort of almost don't notice it. Like there's a character Grant Chester, and it's um, in the first episode. You don't really, you can't really figure out is that a power? What happened? Did he drug him? Right. Like it's all very like, but it's still very much based in reality. So it's not yeah. like a an alternative world. Yeah, really. it's all it's all within the, the realms of possibility. Yes. It's not so, you know, <laughs> nobody's flying yet. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> and the show is different than the novel, right? So people that may be expecting the same thing, they're not going to see maybe what they, what they think they're going to see. Yeah, I mean, we've, the, the show is based on, the, on this, exactly the same premise, but narr like, the narrative is very, very different, and the characters are also different. Like, we've sort of, we have a much bigger cast, and, you know, it's strongly led by by women um, and yeah it's very different but the author of the rook I asked him I said you know are you happy with the adaptation and he he's stoked so oh, if great. he's okay with it I feel like yeah, you know, then we're yeah he's happy <laughs> is it, he's excited to see you know where, where his story has has gone to so it's yeah it's great any chance that the show will influence the author to make another novel well there is a second one which is called stiletto and he was just in LA he came to the premiere and he is writing the third installment it's very exciting yeah heard it here first well, will our not. show <laughs> then be called stiletto next season no. Oh. I hope not. Well, 
It's a great name. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much. And Twin Cities, make sure you check out The Rook. Right. It airs Sundays at 7 on Stars. Olivia, Emma, thank you so much. Thank right. you. Thanks, John.